Section 1. The Great Debate. To rent or to buy, that is the question. Hey there, fellow humans. Today we're diving headfirst into a financial face-off for the ages renting versus buying. It's a topic that sparks heated debates at dinner tables and family gatherings worldwide. Should you sign your life away on a mortgage or keep it casual with a rental agreement? Let's break it down, shall we? We're talking about the big stuff here. Homes, cars, maybe even that top-of-the-line espresso machine you've been eyeing. But seriously, figuring out whether to rent or buy is a big deal. It impacts your finances, your lifestyle, and even your peace of mind. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to navigate this financial maze together. Section 2. Renting Freedom and Flexibility Baby First up, let's talk about renting. Renting is often seen as a stepping stone, but it can be so much more. The beauty of renting is its simplicity and flexibility. You don't have to deal with the long-term commitment that comes with buying a home. You find a place you like, sign a lease, and boom you're in. It's as easy as that, no need to stress about down payments, property taxes or leaky faucets. All those financial burdens are lifted off your shoulders. Renting gives you the freedom to move whenever you please. Want to explore a new city or neighborhood? Go for it. Tired of your neighbors? Lease is up? No problem. You can pack your bags and head for greener pastures without a second thought. Pack your bags and head for greener pastures. The world is your oyster when you're not tied down by a mortgage. Plus, renting can be easier on your wallet, especially in the short term. You can save money and avoid the financial strain of home ownership. You avoid the hefty upfront costs associated with buying, such as down payments and closing costs. This can be a huge relief for many. This means you can keep more of your hard-earned cash for other things, like avocado toast or that trip to Bali you've always dreamed of. Enjoy life without the financial stress. Renting also means you don't have to worry about the hidden costs of home ownership, like maintenance and repairs. These can add up quickly. Broken water heater, Call the landlord. Done and done. It's that simple. Renting offers a hassle-free lifestyle that many find appealing. Welcome to Money Masters, your go-to channel for mastering personal finance and achieving financial freedom. If you're eager to learn the secrets of budgeting, investing and building wealth, you've come to the right place. Every week, we bring you expert advice, actionable tips and inspiring stories to help you take control of your finances and reach your financial goals. Don't miss out, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so you're always up to date with our latest videos. Ready to become a money master? Let's dive into today's financial insights. Section three, renting blues, the downside of living on someone else's turf. But hold on a minute, folks. Before you rush off to sign that lease, let's talk about the downsides of renting. One major drawback is that you're essentially throwing money away each month. Unlike buying, where your mortgage payments build equity in your property, rent payments just disappear into your landlord's pocket. Ouch! Another bummer is the lack of control you have as a renter. You're at the mercy of your landlord when it comes to things like rent increases, renovations, and even pet policies. And let's not forget the dreaded possibility of eviction if you violate the terms of your lease. Talk about a buzzkill. Section 4. Owning, building your empire brick by brick. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the flip side of the coin owning. Ah, the American dream. It's more than just a phrase. It's a goal that many aspire to achieve. Owning a home is often seen as a symbol of stability, security, and let's face it, adulting. It's a significant milestone that marks a new chapter in life. When you buy, you're investing in your future. It's not just a financial decision, it's a commitment to a place you can truly call your own. Every mortgage payment you make chips away at your loan balance and builds equity in your property. This equity can be a powerful financial tool down the line. It's like a forced savings plan, except with nicer curtains. Over time, this equity can grow, providing you with financial stability and options for the future. Plus, owning gives you the freedom to do whatever your heart desires with your property. Want to start a garden or renovate the kitchen? The choice is yours. Want to paint the walls neon green? Go for it. Your home is your canvas, and you have the freedom to express yourself. Always dreamed of having a walk-in closet the size of a small apartment? Make it happen. 
The possibilities are endless when you own your space. Owning also provides a sense of pride and accomplishment that comes with knowing you've achieved a major life milestone. It's a testament to your hard work and dedication. And hey, who doesn't love hosting a good housewarming party? It's a chance to share your joy and success with friends and family, creating memories that will last a lifetime. Homeownership headaches, the price of possession. But before you start picking out paint swatches and planning your dream kitchen renovation, let's talk about the potential downsides of homeownership. One word, expenses. Buying a home is a significant financial commitment. Be prepared for a hefty down payment, closing costs, property taxes, insurance premiums, and the mother of all expenses maintenance costs. Remember that leaky faucet we talked about earlier? Yeah, that's your problem now. From plumbing issues to roof repairs to landscaping nightmares, owning a home means being prepared to shell out some serious cash for upkeep. And let's not forget about those pesky property taxes, which can fluctuate from year to year. Home ownership can be a wild ride, my friends. If you're finding these financial tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more valuable content and reach more people who are on their financial journey just like you. Have a financial question or topic you want us to cover? Drop it in the comments below. We love hearing your suggestions and helping you navigate your financial challenges. Now let's get back to our wealth building strategies. So, there you have it. The good, the bad, and the ugly of renting versus buying. But which option reigns supreme? Well, my friends, the truth is, it depends. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. The best choice for you depends on your individual circumstances, financial situation, and lifestyle preferences. If you value flexibility, mobility, and lower upfront costs, renting might be the way to go. But if you're looking for long-term stability, building equity, and the freedom to customize your living space, owning could be the better option. Ultimately, the decision is yours. Hash Hash Section 7, The Rent versus Buy Showdown Round 2 Cars. Okay, folks, we've tackled the housing market, but the rent versus buy battle doesn't stop there. Oh no, it's time for round two cars. Yep, that's right. The eternal dilemma of whether to lease or buy a set of wheels is enough to make your head spin faster than a Formula One race car. Just like with homes, both leasing and buying a car come with their own set of pros and cons. Do you crave that new car smell every few years or dream of owning your ride free and clear? Let's buckle up and explore the world of car ownership, shall we? Hash Hash Section 8. Cruising on a budget, the perks of leasing. First up, let's talk about leasing. It's a popular option for many, and for good reason. Think of it like renting a car, but for a longer period, usually two to three years. This means you get to enjoy a new car without the long-term commitment. Leasing can be a great option for folks who love driving the latest and greatest models without the commitment or cost of buying. Imagine driving a new car every few years, always having the latest technology and safety features. You get to cruise around in a brand spanking new car with all the bells and whistles, often for a lower monthly payment than financing a purchase. This can be a huge advantage for those who want luxury without breaking the bank. Plus, with leasing, you don't have to worry about depreciation, which is the value your car loses over time. Depreciation can be a significant cost when you own a car, but with leasing, it's the dealership's problem, not yours. When your lease is up, you simply hand the keys back to the dealership and walk away. This process is straightforward and hassle-free. No need to deal with the hassle of selling or trading in your old car. You can just move on to your next vehicle without any worries. It's like a car subscription service, but without the monthly box of goodies, unless you count that new car smell, of course. Leasing offers flexibility, convenience, and the joy of driving a new car more often. Hash Hash Section 9. Buying a set of wheels. Freedom and equity on the open road. Now, let's talk about buying a car. When you buy, you're in the driver's seat, both literally and figuratively. You own that baby free and clear. Well, once you pay off the loan, that is. This means you have the freedom to customize it to your heart's content rack up those miles without worrying about mileage limits, 
and eventually sell or trade it in when you're ready for a change. Plus, just like with buying a home, buying a car allows you to build equity. Every car payment you make chips away at your loan balance, bringing you one step closer to owning your ride outright. It's a satisfying feeling, knowing that your hard-earned money is going towards something tangible and valuable. Hash Hash, Section 10, The Finish Line, Your Ride, Your Choice. So, there you have it, the ins and outs of leasing versus buying a car. Just like with the great housing debate, there's no right or wrong answer. The best option for you depends on your individual needs, budget and driving habits. Do you crave the latest technology and don't mind driving a new car every few years? Leasing might be your jam, but if you value ownership, customization and building equity, buying could be the way to go. Ultimately, the choice is yours, my friend. Now go forth and conquer the open road. Thank you for tuning in to Money Masters. If you found this video insightful and motivating, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family who are also looking to improve their financial health. Make sure to subscribe to Money Masters and click the notification bell so you never miss an episode. We have new videos packed with financial wisdom and strategies coming out every week and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Check out our other videos for more tips and tricks on mastering your money and let us know in the comments what financial topics you'd like us to tackle next. Until next time, keep mastering your money and paving the way to financial freedom.